Welcome back to the third and last video in our three-part series on the Mega Resort Vidanta at Nuevo Viarte, Mexico. Mayan is a restaurant, a Mexican restaurant called uh, La Cantina. Here it is, early in the morning. No people here yet, but uh, but uh, very very nice. Lots of outdoor seating. Overlooks this little this little lake here. Just can't get too close there. You might send me right in your eyes, but. Uh, Very nice and uh, and Mexican right here. And right next door to La Cantina is a restaurant called Gong, and it's a, a Asian fusion restaurant. Again, you know, lots of outdoor seating. Uh, very very nice and uh, not uh, not my not my style. I won't be there, but uh, plenty of people. And people go there and uh, like that. It's a little closer look at Gang. Obviously, uh, there's indoor seating as well. Do some cooking at the table here. The grills. Yeah. Right here. Looking out over the lake. Beautiful place to come have dinner. This is the entrance to the Grand Bliss. I'm gonna take a little walk through here out to the beach. So one of the things they have here are these little carritos that uh, transport you uh, from place to place. Here we are walking into the Grand Bliss. Opens up. And uh, you know the check-in lobby. Wait for these guys. Must be here for a convention. You have convention facilities here. We're going to head straight on out. A little outdoor lobby here at the Grand Bliss. And we're going to take one of the. Uh, Ubiquitous boardwalks. <clears throat> you uh, get a lot of walking here. It's a, it's, a, it's a spread out resort, which goes a lot. Does a lot for the beauty of the place, but uh, you definitely get your steps in. Steps in here. Out of the Grand Bliss, here's something that wasn't here uh, before. Well, at least last time we were here, which was a long, long time ago, you know, is uh, this uh, little sea tonic. So I guess what they do is they take you out on a little, you know, a little uh, pontoon boat, and so you can enjoy, you know, the lake and uh, the beauty of the place out from the lake. Interesting. And here, <clears throat> here are the hours. Um, I say it starts at one. One hour tour. And uh, runs through till five, which uh, means you get back at six. Here's a different view of the lake. Like is this gorgeous, really a centerpiece of uh, of this property here. Here is the pool area, which is reserved just for the Grand Bliss members. Place to get your towels. Lots of seats. Private own pool. Looks out over the ocean. Uh, it's a nice day here today. Multiple pools here, actually. Of course, the ubiquitous uh, swamp bars. But there's also uh, there's also a chair service. People come and uh, serve you drinks right at your right at your table. And uh, there's a uh, 
little food place right here. Not open yet. Super nice and uh, beach area right over here. Okay, they got the little home, home beach area here for the Grand Bliss. Interesting, there's not more permanent palapas here, just, uh, just regular umbrellas. It's a beautiful day here today. So, be so between the Grand Bliss and the Grand Mayan, they are putting in even more new restaurants here. And uh, they're probably absolutely correct with the, uh, the jaw-dropping views. And uh, here it is, beach looking out over the Bay of Banderas. So you can rent some kayaks from these people right on the beach. Again, this is between uh, the Grand Bliss and the uh, Mayan Palace up here. So this is a saloon. This is also something that's uh, new since uh, we were here last. And it uh, looks like just a, a series of food trucks nice area to hang out I'll come back when there's some people here give you a little feel of what it's like when when everything's open but again you can't beat the views <laughs> all right what do we have here here's some for Lisa yellow days and skeet days ice cream uh, popsicles tacos smoothies bread churros beer so here's what uh, what these guys look like? Yeah, we definitely come back here when this is open. All right, so this is this is the main pool. There's my palace, main pool, restaurant right here. This looks like it's a restaurant named Balche. That small bar is massive. Holy heck, look at that thing. Wow. I gotta come here and just have a drink. Just for the, uh, the experience of this. Here are the pools. From the middle. So uh, we can see from the signs here, there's a reserve for members of the estates. So uh, this is uh, this is no longer the Mayan Palace. Got their own bar here. So I guess the center part. I guess the center part here divides the main pool from what's uh, reserved for, for the estates. <clears throat> One thing about this place, it has uh, these signs at every uh, intersection to help you get where you want to go. Not always the best, but uh, they can, uh, they can, once you have a little bit of feel for the place, they can help you get around on the the boardwalks which are winding and never seem to go directly to where you want to go. There's the main lake, the centerpiece of the uh, resort. You can see the ubiquitous boardwalks. Over here in the distance is the plaza, a little small market uh, area, restaurant, they have uh, frozen yogurt, and um, a restaurant up on top. So we'll take you in there. And uh, this is you know, the uh, best place, place to come for brunch, breakfast, brunch. Lines up the time it opens here. Okay, I'll walk in there a little bit later, show you the, uh, the great buffet. This is Cafe del Lago. Okay. These are the uh, Mayan Palace buildings here. Obviously uh, centrally located 
to the plaza. Not too far of a walk to the beach and the main pool. So this area over here, I don't know how you get to that. And look at this, oh my gosh, stunning. This is one of the entrances into the plaza. Place to get some food, hang out, and got a selection of uh, pastries, things for breakfast here. Lots of chocolate, if you're sweet too. So we were in the uh, Chocolateria the other day, where we saw they make this stuff, and here is the result of everything that they make. Here's their, the shoes that they're quite proud of. Look at all this stuff. It's, it's a truly an art here. I'm afraid to ask what this stuff costs here. Everyone has uh, no prices. Oh, here it is. It's uh, ten dollars for hundred grams. So, uh, what is that? Hundred grams. Uh, that is about a quarter pound of chocolate. So, here's some of their other artwork. You always have to have an Eiffel Tower if you're in Mexico. It's just a busy chef. A golf balls. I don't know what that means. Golf course. No. We're also uh, pushing here. We must have a partnership with La uh, Chazul. This swordfish is 100% chocolate. That's incredible. Uh, flowers, anything you need here. And uh, of course, selection of wines and liquors. Azul. So obviously it's a partnership with uh, Mark Wahlberg and Abraham Anser. More wine. More booze. Meat, meat counter. She'll be in there. It always is. So if you have a kitchen, you can, uh, you can cook up. Good selection of cheeses. Sorry about the condensation on the inside of those, but it's warm and humid here on the outside. And then they've got a little market. Prices are not great here, as you might expect. Um, some people will you can order some things and, and get them delivered. You, get the, you can order some things here and get them delivered for your room, but you can also order some things from Walmart. Some, there's some services that will, that will go and pick those up for you, deliver them here, or you can just take a, take a cab to the Walmart, do your own shopping, you know, and, uh, and bring it back. A uh, little pharmacy you can get the absolute essentials if you, have, if you need them. Pastries. And 
My favorite, my favorite place here is the Frogan Yogurt. Bringing them out for me to come later. Dump it in. They, they weigh it. There's a whole tray here. I'll take some pictures when it's actually in operation. Whole tray, bins of stuff you can put on your ice cream. It's absolutely great. Come here every night, maybe. In the plaza, one level up. You can get anything you need for the beach. Beachwear, souvenirs. Hola, buenos dias. Suits. And of course, you cannot escape the jewelry. So this is exiting the plaza from a different direction. See a nice little place here to come get your coffee, hang out, enjoy the scenery, the peaceful peacefulness here. There, early morning, out maintaining the golf course. They actually have the uh, the Mexican Open here on the golf course at. Uh, and Vidanta. I'm not sure this is the course itself, but uh, there may be maybe two courses here. But uh, in April, we have the, uh, the Mexican Open on, on at least one of the courses here. Now this is uh, the Sanctuario. We were here last night. They have a nightly entertainment here. And uh, it went on for hours. And uh, we, we only stayed for two, but it is... Uh, just, uh, there was a Mexican entertainment last night. Usually have uh, some, some artists, a band, you know, whatever here. And uh, it's very, very popular. You can reserve seats. Don't know exactly how you do that, but we walked by last night and uh, people had, you know, there were, there were seats and tables that had been reserved by people. Uh, where you don't want to go. This is sales. <laughs> Supposedly I have an appointment with member services. And entertainment in our lobby again tonight. Is uh, Cafe del Lago. This has an extraordinary, extraordinary brunch, and we're going to uh, hopefully will allow us to places to eat outside. Hopefully, will allow us to go in here and uh, take some video. So here is the uh, the buffet. Fruits, yogurt. Breads and muffins, some garnishes, eggs made to order, some ham. You know what all these things are? Warm plates. 
see the Achilles. Look at these plates here. Wow. Okay. And bananas. Sausage, some pork. And fried beans. Eggs made to order. <laughs> Massive selection of breads. Cheeses and meats. And this is sushi. And here what we have here is a sweet station. Yep. This is uh this place is incredible. We uh, actually stay away from this place because we don't eat that much. <laughs> we can never eat that much. We'd be leaving here feeling almost sick. We look at the artwork here on the walls. Seating area. Another view of the uh, Cafe del Lago, and obviously, if you're sitting on this side, you get uh, this view. That's why you get a view of the lake. All right, it's happy hour. We're going to the swim up bar or this walk up bar. Now, there are no seats at the walk up bar, but it doesn't matter. We're still walking up, as the case may be. Hey? Very loud. Yeah, very loud. Lots of work happening here. These guys are busy because it's happy hour. What are the pink drinks? I know. We hope you enjoyed our tour of the Vidanta Mega Resort at Nuevo Viarta in Mexico. Until next time, hasta la vista.